Welcome back everybody. In today's video, I have a lot to talk about. Trust me, you guys are really going to enjoy this one. First of all, Taco Terry has a warrant for his arrest, probably for violating his probation. He is in a lot of trouble. Now, I talked about Taco Terry this morning, but at the time I was unaware that a warrant was issued for his arrest, so we'll take a look at that. Second of all, Annapolis Autist was kind enough to send me the temper tantrum that Taco Terry had at Kevin's trial, and that is what caused his arrest, so we'll also take a look at that. Also, we have a new arrest footage for Eli. He got arrested, I believe it was a couple nights ago, and of course, the guy acted like a total moron, and he ended up in handcuffs. So without further ado, enjoy the video. First, let's take a look at the charges just so we can recap for those who haven't seen this morning's video. So Mr. Terrence Taco was charged with trespassing public agency during open hours, and that is an offense from the 4th of September. He was also charged with disorderly conduct, and he was charged with failure to obey a lawful order. So all of these are misdemeanors, but when you pile them on like this, and especially considering that he just violated his probation, it's not looking good whatsoever. So let's take a look at the actual arrest warrant. So the taco was found guilty of trespassing public agency during hours, and that was a misdemeanor. He was found guilty in 2023. The disposition date was 11-15-2023. And his sentence was six months in jail. All but suspended was 90. So he only had to do 90. And the probation was for five years. Now, it's only been a couple months. And this guy has already violated it. And as you can see at the bottom, it says here a bench warrant for violation of probation. And that was on the 9th of September, 2024. And the warrant is issued and it is active. Now, if we look at the timeline, it looks a little bit like this. It shows here that there was a request made for a violation of probation. They added the supporting document on the 6th. And then there was an order, a ruling issued warrant for violation of probation with charging documents. And on the 9th, two days ago, the bench warrant was issued. And he was also served through electronic service or a summons or something like that. It's possible that he didn't even know. And yeah, there you have it. I mean, Taco Terry is now a wanted man. Now, thanks to Annapolis Autis, we do have the temper tantrum that happened in court. Remind you, this is just audio, but let's take a look. Cooper, if, you, if you're trying to put something in the evidence, you have to show words of relevance. I already showed you the relevance privacy of persons regarding photographs, digital Judge images, we're, and we're video. Supposed to be Mr. Sober, will you turn around and He's talking address to me? Jury. I'm not talking to the jury, or I'd be looking at him. You are. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a five-minute recess, because yeah, I can't get individuals here to follow the rules. Objection. The jury's in the courtroom, guys. Come on. He said it. He said it to the jury. I'm not allowed to say it. Don't put it on the record. You don't want it on the record. Don't say it. Don't say it. Mr. Soper, you're pushing my pace. You're going to have to find me in contempt because hey, because 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 you may get your you you may get your wish. This is ridiculous. You may get your wish. You can't say in front of the jury that he's not following. Sir, you're out of the courtroom, Mr. Bailiff. Who you are, but your butt's out of the courtroom. Because I told you you're not out of the courtroom. You're not a part of this proceeding. You just you're told not me. a part of this proceeding. You're just mad because he's right. Yeah. You said what he told the jury. You I don't even know what he said. You want me to say it again? You're not allowed you, to say it. You need to be quiet right now. I've had it with you. I've told you several times. He's to leave. He's to Mr. Mr. You do not need to Mr. Be Bailiff, well, yes, sir. he is to leave the courthouse. Out. 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 I told you why so. Why is he talking to him like that? Out. Out. And the next person I catch, why are you letting him talk to him like that? Because one of you guys are missing. Why are you letting him talk to him like that? Mr. Soper, get back there at the table. Yeah, I heard him fucking talking to me as well. Mr. Soper, get back at the trial table. 
Go check on him. Mr. Silver, get back at the trial table. Now that was glorious. Huge shout out to Annapolis artists for obtaining this footage. Now before we move on to Eli's arrest, first of all, I want to thank you guys because as you know, I am in hot waters with YouTube when it comes to the copyright strikes and I can't post on the main channel. Now I remember that I have this channel and I want to thank you guys so much for the support for my latest video. It got 10,000 views in about seven hours, which is fantastic. And it garnered over 700 subscribers, which is amazing because we need my 50,000 subscribers to come to this channel as well, because I'm going to be posting here daily until next Friday. And even after that, I will still be posting on this channel. So if you haven't subscribed already, please make sure to subscribe. That way you don't miss any videos. So thank you so much in advance. Now let's get to Eli's arrest. What's going on, everybody? How y'all doing today? Let's hope everybody's safe and sound healthy up off every single thing in life. As you can see, look who's there, my pigs. That's the one that put the handcuffs on. But a lot of you were thinking he was the arresting officer. Nah, he was just following the lawful orders, you heard? And he saw me right behind him and he didn't even say, hi, how you doing, sir? That's how they do, my pigs, you heard? That's how they do, my page. He was the one who put the handcuffs on on my on the day of my arrest for that for the key bullshit. Not knowing what was going on, my page. You heard he was just following orders from the tyrant that was in front of the courthouse that you saw on my private video. So now Eli is doing a flashback to 2020 to when he got arrested by Officer Connor. And I'll leave it in there because it's one more arrest. Why not, right? If we have two arrests plus the news of Taco Terry getting a bench warrant, that's a pretty damn good video. So let's take a look. Listen, you saw the camera, what he said, right? This is the next one. This is the fucking next fucking dirty motherfucker. Look, I was right here in the sidewalk right here. I saw them turn over here. My car is already parked. I'm not in the fucking car. All right? He said, you got a light out. I said, okay, I'm cool with it. I wanted to check the light. He didn't want me to check the light because it looked like he was going to give me a warning. He was going to let me go, whatever. I gave him the other thing. He noticed that he was being recorded. And in front of the camera and in my eyes, he said, okay, I'm just going to issue a ticket just because he was being recorded. And it's here. All I got to do is just play it back. Now you, he's talking about... He's going to impound my car because I don't sit back in my car. This is some bullshit, man. I'm going to let them impound it. And I guess we're going to put this one on the list, guys. All right? I'm going to go pick it up. I'm not, I'm not sitting in the car because I wasn't in the car. I was in the sidewalk. It's called the Terry Stop. And I'm going to let them do what they're going to do. Sir, if you don't lower your voice, we're going to place you in handcuffs. Sir, if you don't lower your voice, we're going to place you in handcuffs. Sir, if you don't lower your voice, we're going to place you in handcuffs. I understand. Okay? Lower your voice. Stop cursing. Stop yelling. Cursing and yes. yelling, I All understand. Right. Control yourself. Control right. yourself, he said. I understand. Okay. Can you sit back in the car? No, I wasn't in the car when All you approached right. me. Lower when your, you contact me, I wasn't in the car, so you don't tell me to, to get in no car. No more screaming, no more yelling. Okay? Can you go back in the sidewalk? Back in the sidewalk, he yeah. said. Another order. I wasn't driving, mind you guys. I was parked right here. Sure. And I was walking. I'm talking to my camera, sure, man. You gotta lower your voice. I gotta lower my I voice. I keep on warning you. You Jesus. know why I showed up? Because when he's talking to you, 
when he's talking on the radio, you, heard my you could hear you screaming in the background. <laughs> so that's I why everybody it, came. He didn't what do I do with that, man? Because what makes us worry? When I feel uncomfortable, my voices go up. It could be my son, my father, and everybody. You got to learn to control it, and you wonder why. I'm trying to. I'm trying to my best. That's why all these cops are here because we could hear your voice over his radio. But think about that. So I got. Let's say I came out of the car and I was upset. I started yelling like you. You do. What's going on? You know what I mean? You feel disrespected in a sense. But I know you, so it's different. I got you. But other guys don't know you, so it's a little bit different. Understood. Understood. We had a prior encounter. I got you. I got you. You know what I mean? Take a deep breath. Figure it all out. Right? Yeah, but shit, it's crazy. Get against the fence. Whoa. But no, the guy that put where he at? Who put me? Made the stop. He made the stop. Okay. He's dirty. He's dirty. Why? He's very dirty. Why? He's very dirty. I know See, you, you want text. me to say that one low. I got you. I got no, you. no, Listen. you can say that. Check this out. Check this out. Because I want to figure the way out you say that, out. I never forgot. This is your saying. Hear me out. Hear me out. I never yeah. forgot about you from that shit. Yeah. Hear me out. I'm over here about to get something from the store. I see the police car turning over there. He comes at me. They pull over. The first thing he says, give me your ID. Okay. You know, I'm a little with, with, the, with the rights and thing, and now okay. I'm, I'm feeling violated from the get-go. Okay. So that's a trigger for me. I got you. I got you. I got you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's a trigger for me. Okay. Asking me for ID. Okay. I'm not a criminal. I don't break the law. Okay. This is my question. Have Wait. Let heard? me finish. Well, let me finish. No, keep going. I let no, you talk keep before. Going. No, I got you. All right. So he approaches my. He approaches me and okay. asks me for ID. I say okay. I walk back. I, I give him my ID. I hand it to him. Okay. And then I ask him what's the issue. Okay. He told. He tells me politely. Everything's going smoothly. He's being professional, but asking me for ID without even telling me why or what did I do. Just asking me randomly for ID. Okay. Somebody would have would have cast him because he could be in a uh, he buy that shit in Party City. I don't know. Because okay. you got to tell me I'm police officer such and such, and now I know you're a cop. Okay. Like this guy, he he didn't tell me his name. I asked him. Okay. And I asked call your voice. He didn't tell me. So that gets me. That triggers me. Okay. Boom. So I give him my ID. Then I, I come over here like uh, registration insurance. Okay, I'm gonna give you registration insurance. Okay. When I gave it to him, I was, I was about to ask him, I was about to argue with him. Listen, but why you? He like, listen, listen, registration insurance. I said, okay. So once I gave it to him, he it was like, let me go. I'm just going to give you a warning or whatever. And then he sees her recording. Okay. Oh, you're recording? All right, so I'm just going to issue a ticket. In front of the camera, in front of me. Listen. That makes me go up, whoa, all the way up. I'm sorry, man. Let him, sorry, let him talk to you real quick. Do me a favor, place your hands behind your back. You but I wasn't arrest. driving! Right, sir, turn around, put your hands behind your back. Bro, sir, trust right. me. Just listen. Okay, do what you gotta do, man. You got you're fine, bro. You're fine, bro. You're fine. You guys relax, buddy. Relax. 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 You stop the video, too? Who's recording? Nobody got guns on all right so now that we're done with the flashback that was in 2020 he claims it got dismissed in 2022 i don't care to be honest because at least he took the ride this guy is a violent criminal that has been spending most of his life in and out of jail so i don't really feel sorry for him let's move on to the current arrest that happened very recently which is not dismissed and still ongoing take a look at this Boldy is one of the dirtiest cops in Yonkers. YPD, my bitch. You hurt? Look at his belt. He needs a new belt, my bitch. Thank you. Sorry, man. No, I know. But you still not a sergeant yet, bro? Five years later? <laughs> you heard, my bitch? Welcome to Yonkers. Just showing you what we got over here, who we got over here, and then I'm going to show you what's actually going on. You heard, my bitch? Make sure you hit that like button on your way in or before you leave, my baby. Make sure you pull up to the People's Podcast TV. Make sure you pull up to Zay Zay TV. Make sure you pull up to Cartoon Peeps TV. Show the same love, my peeps. Eli TV Douche the backup channel. You heard? Up, nigga. <laughs> World 
Why, nigga, you hurt? Sending your ass to Iraq, you dirty ass pig. You heard my beef? You don't lock me up in anything, my beef, you heard? Talking about my license was suspended and shit. You heard? Which it was bullshit. You heard? Ain't no crosswalks over here either. You heard? I'm about to cross the street. Just in case you feel like locking me up. You heard my peep, Luke? No crosswalk. I'm about to cross over. Get away from the streets. Get away from the streets. You going to jail. This is North Korea. I'm playing with my pets. You heard? Get away from the streets. Oh, he all nervous and shit. Get your hands out your pocket and get back to work, nigga. What happened? Get back on the sidewalk, please. Oh, sure, sure. I'm walking back, I'm walking back. You don't want me to run, right? Or you want me to run? And I, right, you don't care? You want me to trip and fall? No, I'm not tripping. All right, so chill, nigga. What if I want to go back across the street? Look, my piece, look, my piece, I'm here. Now I want to go back across this street. You want to help me cross this little crosswalk? I'm going back over there, then I'm going over there, then I'm coming right back over here. All right, so if I get hit, how about you tell them to stop for the pedestrian? How about you wait for traffic? Who? You wait. And what you doing here, nigga? What's your job? You have to lower your voice, man. You have to lower your voice, man. If you don't lower your voice, we're going to play straight hand. Nigga, like, fuck you, nigga. Freedom of speech. Freedom of speech. We're going to play straight hand. So for what? Who's the victim? You gotta lower your Who's voice. the victim? You gotta lower your voice. Come lock me up again, bro. Yeah, Come. Stop playing with me. Watch my language. Yeah. This is not North Korea. We got the freedom of speech here. This is America. All right? You ain't nobody to tell me how to speak, nigga. You heard? I'm willing to lose my rights for my freedom, so come and take me. Oh, f you, both of y'all, nigga. How about that? He gonna lock me on my face. I'm going to jail again. Believe the unbelievable. My freedom is collateral. I think I'm gonna have to go. I showed you what it is to be a victim of abuse and I don't think they gon' let it go Cause they be getting yeah, yeah. exposed Go ahead, go ahead, I'm in the side Stay exposed, stay exposed, stay exposed, stay exposed, stay exposed, stay exposed They be getting exposed, stay exposed, stay exposed, stay exposed, stay exposed, stay exposed Believe the unbelievable, my freedom is collateral I think I'm gonna have to go I showed you what it is to be a victim of abuse and I don't think they gon' let it go They be getting exposed all right, so besides the arrest, there's a couple of things that come up to mind. First of all, I'm sorry that the music is in there. I didn't include it. He put it in there. He really tries to promote his music through his fraudits. But what really bothers me is that he rhymed the word go with go. So I don't understand how this guy's supposed to be some type of pro rapper, and he cannot come up with another word that rhymes with go i mean he could have said do he could have said row he could have said so many words but he chose the exact same words anyways maybe i'm nitpicking but honestly it just looks like he suck not only at frauditing but also at music anyways thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you enjoy the great news about taco terry and also make sure to subscribe to Annapolis Autis because I believe he's going to be posting the entire audio recording of Kevin's trial. And I believe that will be either tonight or tomorrow. So make sure to subscribe to his channel. The link will be in the description and in the pinned comment. Thanks again. And I'll see you guys on the next one.